Hey everyone, I just wanted to show a quick video of what's going on with the Wi-Fi issues that everyone's having with the Toshiba satellite radius, the P55W. Um, I bought this online um, on Thanksgiving online with the Black Friday deal at Best Buy. So this computer, which usually was $899, I got for uh, $699. So it was a good deal. I researched a good bit. This is the computer I wanted um, based on the the weight, the size, the screen quality, touch screen. I wasn't too interested in the Windows 8, which I did not want to use, but that's what comes with it. Um, so it's a nice laptop. It's not bad. I don't prefer the chiclet style keys. Um, I actually prefer the, I've been on an HP computer from 2009. You can see that it's, it's a little beat up. I mean, I've used it almost daily for going on five years. Uh, but it still works. The The issue is just that it's bogged down because the RAM's a lot slower. It's upgraded. A, you know, the the needs of RAM has is, is increased in the last five years. Um, and eventually all computers need to be upgraded in some sort. So I was looking to get something, and I ended up with this computer. Now, the major issue everyone's dealing with, it's all over. If you go to Best Buy and look up this computer so many negative reviews on the Wi-Fi. If you go to Amazon, 18 or so, 15 or so negative reviews, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. It's a pain to deal with. Toshiba doesn't acknowledge there's even an issue. There's no updates, no help. People that are out of their, I don't know, first 30 or 90 days or however it is, end up having to pay up to $99 for Toshiba support and they're still not getting this resolved. Uh, no one's acknowledging at Toshiba that this is a problem. So we're gonna do this side by side. I've already called into support, by the way. Um, it is unbearable. You will be transferred three times minimum before you get anyone that helps you. They will not, in my case, they did not understand something so simple as, you know, I'm 15 feet from my router and I'm getting less than one megabit per second on a computer right next to a computer five years older that's getting 16 to 17 megabits per second. Their response to that was, okay, it must be your internet service provider. That makes absolutely no sense. Um, and they said, okay, well, we'll update the, the device driver. Okay, we did that. It was already updated. Nothing to do. They said, okay, well, go to your power settings for the driver, for the Intel card, the 7260, I believe. Um, and then disable the power option that allows you that can take away performance. Well, obviously that that's not helping either. So well, what they say is they'll call me back in two to three minutes. And well, it's been what, 10 minutes by now. I haven't heard back from them. I'm not expecting to hear back from them. Um, so here we go. Quick little speed test, speedtest.net, what I usually use. We are on an HP HDX 16 computer I bought back in 2009. We are going to hit test, and let's see what speeds we're getting. Well, slower than usual, but still, I'm getting between about 10, 11 megabits per second. I can get as much as 16 out of this computer, out of this laptop. As you can see, almost 12 megabits per second. Upload not as important to me right now, but you can see it's somewhere around three to four, which is pretty typical for for my connection. Just let this finish real quick. Okay, all right. So finished. About 12 megabits per second download, almost four up. Let's go to a computer right next to it. The new seven day old Toshiba satellite radius, a problem that's been existing with this computer for four to five months that has obviously not been resolved in any fashion that they're shipping these computers with absolutely no improvement in the Wi-Fi issue. We're clicking test, here we go. I've been lucky to get this to go over one megabit per second so getting 1.5 is actually one of the higher speeds that I've been receiving 
And what's weird is that the upload's actually about on par. It's the download that's a major issue with this Intel wireless AC card, the 7260. The upload's about the same, you know, three to four. Right at it, even better than the HP. It's the download issue on, I guess, the 2.4, is it gigahertz frequency? You know, people... It, Toshiba and Intel cannot expect people to go in, out and buy brand new 5.0 gigahertz routers. I mean, and then even if you go and, do, and buy one, what are you going to do when you're staying in a hotel for work? What are you going to do when you're out of town? You know, the rest of the world's not going to upgrade their needs. They're not going to spend money upgrading all these things so that your laptop works. Your laptop needs to be compatible with the technology that exists in everyday life. Obviously, that's not the case when you're getting one megabit on cable internet that you're paying for 20 megabit service. Uh, just to show you, the router is 15 feet from here. Uh, let's walk. Right here through the bathroom. Open the door. It's dark in here, but see the router is right here. Links us. Right next to the cable modem blinking. You know, we're talking five feet to the door, through the bathroom, to the computers. Um, Intel needs to acknowledge this problem. Toshiba needs to acknowledge this problem. People shouldn't be buying computers not realizing how bad their internet card, their wireless card, is inside their laptops until it's after 30 days. They can't take it back. They have to pay for tech support. There's no, there's no solution for this. There is no newer driver. Uh, this, is, this is what you're going to get. You are either going to have to have your, uh, you know, your, your router within three feet of your computer at all times, or good luck, you're not connecting to the internet. Um, Toshiba can continue to pretend that this doesn't exist, but go ahead and Google Wi-Fi issues on Toshiba satellite radius. You're going to notice that this is a major issue. It's not going anywhere. It's not being resolved. Support obviously won't even call back. I had this first time I ever had support try to disconnect the call, and I wasn't rude to them. I was just direct in terms of you know I'd like to resolve this. I don't want to spend three hours on the phone like everyone else. And get absolutely nowhere and just waste my one day off I've had in the last two weeks from work. I don't want to do this with my time. So, good luck everyone else. If you find a solution to this, please post it below. Um, if this helped you, you know, please subscribe. Um, I'm not in this for, you know, trying to necessarily get subscribers. I just want people to understand what's going on and for people to get quality products that they spend their money on instead of basically being ripped off with problems that, um, you know, companies know exist but are unwilling to, to resolve. Again, if you have any, any ideas, comments, please post them below and uh, hopefully we can get this resolved. It looks like I'll be taking this back and honestly, I don't know what a good replacement for this computer is. If you have uh, a good idea of a computer that would be comparable to this one, um, you know, around $800, somewhere in that range, less or slightly more. Love to hear it. Please let me know any laptop that you're happy with. And uh, until next time, guys, take care.